Hey YouTube, I'm Mars1952 and, and uh, today I'm going to show you how to silence your uninterruptible power supply. That's one of these things that normally you hook them up to computers. But I've been uh, repurposing them lately and uh, the beeping is annoying. Uh, I don't really see why you can't turn the darn beep off completely. On these older types like this you've got a beep delay. You can turn it off a little bit but you can't turn it off completely. So. I had one of these, this over here, this one doesn't work anymore, um, hooked up to my alarm clocks, my wife's and my alarm clocks, and one of the bedside lamps, uh, so that if there was a power failure, it would feed power to the alarm clocks and the alarms would not lose their time. Uh, our alarm clocks have batteries in them, little 9 volts, I don't see one laying around here, they have the 9 volt batteries. And it makes it so the time still is correct after a power failure. It's usually off by a few minutes. But it does not try to keep track of the alarms. So we'd have a little power failure, which we have here almost every day. Uh, sometimes it's just a minute or two or a few seconds. And the alarm clocks would forget their alarm uh, time. So to overcome that, I had old, um, this old UPS sitting around. I hooked that up. I'm sort of making the story too long here. I hooked up this old UPS under the bed, tied the alarm clocks in it and one bedside lamp, and tested it, and it worked pretty well. Um, but then we had a power failure, and the power failure was about three or four hours long, and it ran down the battery. The battery of this was not that good. It wasn't very old, but they don't last very long, a couple of years. So I ran down the battery and the thing started squawking like crazy. And of course uh, we woke up and it shut. I had to shut it off. And once I shut it off, all the alarm clocks were screwed. So it didn't work quite like I had hoped. So this one, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna silence the alarm. Let me show you what it sounds like first. I've got a power, it's got a weak battery in here right now. I'm gonna put uh, a load on it and plug it in, turn it on. And then I'll unplug it. So that's what happens when you run out of power. So you have to wake up and turn it off. So imagine waking up to that. Not very fun. It's worse than waking up to the alarm. So this one over here, I've repurposed. I'm going to hook this up to my battery, not my battery, my wireless telephone system. I've got a, six phones and a wireless system. Each phone has its own battery, but the base unit does not have a battery. Well, back up again. It has a battery, but it's a lot like those alarm clocks. It's just enough to keep the thing going. It's enough to keep track of the memory of the, of the unit, but not enough to make it work. So if the phones, as soon as the power goes out, all the phones go out. So I have, I'm going to hook up a battery back up to it. I'm going to put a load onto this one. This one's been silenced. I can put this together without burning myself and unplug it. So the transformer in it's a little bit noisy, but it works. Uh, this won't be anywhere near where our beds are, our bedroom is, so be a little buzz in the kitchen, but the phones will still work. This has a new battery in it, so it would take a long time to run those all the, all the way down. Okay, so the next thing is to disassemble this and I'll show you what to, where to kill it. Unplugged. Even when these are unplugged, you can still shock yourself, so you gotta be careful. Take this dead battery out of here. So you wanna unplug it, take out your battery. the screws. I'll cut some of this out.
All right, so I've got the screws all loose. Let's see if I get it to come apart. Alright, so what we're looking for is a piezo speaker that look like these right here. We check, I think we're focused. These are some that I pulled out of three other UPSs, two successfully and one I ruined the UPS. So uh, the first one, I'd use a method that I've used before. I tried to drill a hole in it and I was going to fill it with hot glue. That works really well actually. Um, but the drill caught and the thing snapped right off. I thought I'd ruined it, but I plugged it in and put it back together, plugged it in and tested it, and everything was great except it was silent. So I did it the same thing twice more, where I just took a pair of side cuts like these and worked my way underneath the piezo speaker and snapped it off. Well, one of the times I did it, I forgot to take the battery out before I did it and uh, caused a short circuit and ruined the UPS. It was no great loss, but it was still embarrassing. So we're going to desolder this one. I've got a soldering iron going here. And um, first we've got to find the piezo speaker. Now this one is right in the middle, right here. Just where you can see it. So there's a piezo speaker right there. And you just got to get to where the, the back of it. You have to be careful when you handle these circuit boards because there's capacitors in there and they'll give you a nasty little shock. So, let me prop this up so maybe you can see what I'm doing. You can sort of see. So I'm going to desolder this. I get a hold of the piezo speaker. Needle nose pliers would probably work for this too. And I'm going to desolder. I'm going to put the soldering iron right on the, the place where it's soldered. And it comes out. And why is that doing that? Sort of coming out a little bit at a time. Okay, there it finally came out. There it is. I suppose I could reuse that if I wanted to. Now let's see if I broke it. Put it back together again. Put everything in the correct, correct slots. Circuit board. Slide the power cords through, the battery cords, battery cables, I guess you call them. These older type are much easier to take apart. Not so, no, fin nah, not so finicky. Okay, so I left all the screws in here. Working with one camera is bad enough. Doing it both cameras at the same time and my own editor and cameraman, sound man. And of course I'm not an actor, but alright, that's back together. Put the same dead battery back in there. Or mostly dead.
Come on. I don't know why this one is so hard to get in here. This seems like bad design to me. Slide this back on, turn her over, plug it in, see if I ruined it. Put a load on it. Well, it seems to sort of work. Let me unplug it. didn't last very long but no nasty noises that's what I'm after so now now that I haven't ruined this I can order a new battery for it and use it uh, to power my alarm clocks well I'll just recap here just when you take these things apart make sure it's unplugged the batteries out It'd be even better if you let it sit for a few days that we wouldn't have to worry about the capacitor shocking you but if you're real careful how you handle it um, you can do it when it's fresh freshly unplugged um, it's, and you especially want to make sure everything's unplugged and and cooled off all the capacitors are drained but if you try to snap them off snap off your piezo speaker with uh, side cuts because that's how I ruined one of these one of the older ones um, it was just about ready to come off and I it shorted something I don't know what it was shorted but something shorted made hit a little buzz and that was it this one I got for free off the Craigslist, so if I screwed it up, it wouldn't have been too big of a deal. Waste a little gas going to get it. Well, thanks for watching. Um, do me a favor and click like and subscribe. Share this thing if you want to. Uh, everything you do like that helps me out. Make comments below if you have any ideas. You want to tell me how dumb I am for doing this, go ahead. Um, thanks for watching.